Well, today, believe it or not, marks two years since the first COVID-19 case was reported in Florida. The good news is COVID-19 related deaths and hospitalizations are down all across the country. Unfortunately, we're now seeing spikes in mental health hospitalizations, especially with kids. And doctors are now calling it the new crisis that we all need to worry about. ABC Action News in-depth reporter Stassi Almos looked more into this. She found the number of children and teens hospitalized for mental health episodes in Baycare hospitals more than doubled in recent months. She explains what could be behind this spike and how we as adults can help our kids. Six months into the COVID-19 pandemic, child health experts declared a state of emergency on adolescent mental health. On the two-year mark of the pandemic, those on the front lines say it's now a crisis for our kids. I can tell you without a doubt that the majority of our hospitalizations during the Omicron surge and adolescents were not for complications of actual COVID infection. They were for behavioral health concerns. Many of the adolescent intake at BayCare hospitals are for suicidal ideation and severe anxiety attacks. January was the busiest month we've had on record for COVID hospitalizations and pediatrics within BayCare. It was more than double any previous month to date, and the entire month of January was busier than the entire surge of Delta put together. This crisis is the result of a number of factors. Many of the things that our children are now dealing with, school, jobs, losing parents, losing family members, losing classmates, uh, the news, a ever changing world. We didn't have those things when we were growing up. And so the fatigue that adults are experiencing are also being felt by our children, yet they lack the life experience and the vocabulary to articulate exactly what they're feeling. Tampa Bay mental health advocate Natasha Pierre has helped several families get their children into mental health treatment in just the last two months. Her concern is the wait times for care. There's only eight hours ideally in a day that they can see clients. Many of the ones that I know have pushed their hours to 12, sometimes even 14 hours. And there's a there's a wait list. There's a wait list everywhere, but people need services now. I called around to adolescent therapists near Tampa and I got a lot of voicemails, but two people I was able to get on the phone said they could get a child or teen in within about a week or two. Now one office that takes Medicaid said they are short staffed and it would take about a month. While Florida has historically ranked nearly last in the U.S. for mental health funding, according to the Claude Pepper Center at Florida State University, schools received more funding in recent budgets than ever before. The Florida Department of Education shows the increases from $75 million in 2019-2020 to $100 million in 2021, and this year $120 million. We try to use that to support our schools the most we can, whether it's adding additional social workers or counselors, We've actually in over 100 schools have added a mental health therapist to help those students on campus there. They say it takes a village to raise a child, but it starts in the home. Doctors say parents need to pay attention and take action. It's important that if you see changes in your child, if they're not doing well in school, if they're withdrawing from activities and their friends, if they're spending all their time in their room, if they're only on social media and they really don't talk to people in person, those can all be red flags that something's happening. So talk to your child, get them appointment to see their pediatrician or physician and, and talk about these issues. In Tampa Bay, I'm in-depth reporter Stassi Olmos, ABC Action News. There are several free resources for help starting with 211 Tampa Bay Cares Helpline. In addition, nonprofits like Champions for Children will do free screening on kids under the age of five. Their staff is also trained to help any parent or teen who might need advice. We are here to wrap that family around with additional activities and support and education to make sure that those strong connections between children and the adults in their life is as, is, as strong as possible. For links and phone numbers to resources, go to our website, abcactionnews.com slash in-depth, and then click on this article.